U.S. infrastructure, including the power grid, under cyber threat by Russian government hackers, potentially giving the Kremlin the ability to turn off the lights. The Department of Homeland Security and the FBI detailing a two-year multi-stage effort by Moscow targeting the U.S. energy grid. The hackers first gained access to small energy-related companies, planting malware that allowed them to move into larger networks. Once inside the energy suppliers, the Russians collected information on the facility's control systems, attempting to acquire the ability to turn those systems off. They're identifying targets. They're positioning uh, malware so they could pull the trigger when they wanted to. But they're also sending the United States a message um, we are in position to cause harm if we wanted to do it, and so you, the U.S., should be a little more careful. The Russians targeted other crucial sectors as well, including nuclear power, water, aviation, and manufacturing. Experts see the intrusion as a possible precursor to an unprecedented Russian cyber attack that could, in the event of war, <laughs> devastate the U.S. This project will accommodate somewhere between six and 10,000 people when it's completed. It's a city. It's going to be the largest survival community on the planet. The whole world is concerned. Everybody has gut level feelings and they're all feeling something's about to happen. So our, our buyers are people that are aware. They're not paranoid, they're aware. Meet Satan as NATO's come to call this the R-36M, 209 tons of nuclear Armageddon. It is a paradox. If these things are ever launched in anger, it likely mean the end of human civilization. And yet, it is that very fact that guarantees that no sane man will ever press the red button. We're traveling inside eastern Syria on an exclusive trip with U.S. Special Forces. General Jonathan Braga tells us this rural terrain was ISIS's heartland and that the extremists have been driven way back. But now there are fears the U.S. could end up in a direct conflict with new adversaries, Russians. We drove to the Conoco oil and gas refinery, now a U.S. base. It's the first time reporters have been here since American troops came under attack on this spot last month by 500 fighters, including Russian mercenaries, an international incident shrouded in secrecy until now. So on that night, we started receiving uh, artillery rounds in around right where you're standing, upwards of uh, 30 different artillery rounds. General Braga says he immediately picked up a hotline to the Russian military. So you called and said, stop this? Yes, I did. What response did you get? Uh, those are not our forces. U.S. forces were unconvinced. Braga says they gathered in this building to launch a counterstrike, raining down artillery and airstrikes. Two to three hundred of the Russian force was killed. Is, is, that, is that accurate? Oh, and that's, uh, I would say, close to our estimates as well. Were you worried that this could have become some sort of real war with Russia? Uh, well, absolutely concerned. U.S. military officials tell NBC News the Russian mercenaries were from the Wagner Group, a shadowy security firm linked to Yevgeny Prigozhin, a powerful oligarch known as Putin's chef. The U.S. captured intercepts of the mercenaries' communications, complaining about their heavy losses. They tore us to pieces, put us through hell, said one. The Yankees made their point, the last line of and it seems the mercenaries haven't given up. General Braga took us to the edge of the base, pointing out to where similar forces have come back. 
hope it doesn't happen again, but if it does, we'll be ready. North Korea is denouncing a new American nuclear strategy that calls for the U.S. to enhance its arsenal of low-yield nuclear weapons. A spokesperson for the North Foreign Ministry's Institute of American Studies says the U.S. strategy is a declaration of war against the world. As part of our defense, we must modernize and rebuild our nuclear arsenal, hopefully never having to use it, but making it so strong and so powerful that it will deter any acts of aggression by any other nation or anyone else. Perhaps someday in the future, there will be a magical moment when the countries of the world will get together to eliminate their nuclear weapons. Unfortunately, we are not there yet.